I think great leaders have very high self-awareness of who they are, uh, what they're all about, what their personality and style is, what their values are, uh, because the leader at some point in time has to be pretty lonely, right? And so you have to be very assured of yourself uh, when you go through, quote unquote, those lonely times. Uh, so that's critical, uh, first of all, in the development. And I think those, uh, over time, you figure those out. Experiences help you define what those are. Uh, and that doesn't come overnight. So, you know, that can take years to ultimately get centered on. Uh, so first and foremost, whether it's building a winning culture, whether it's becoming a, an effective leader versus a manager. Um, you gotta, you gotta get real clear on the values uh, and your style and your personality, piece one. Um, piece two is, in my opinion, once you get centered on those, you gotta, you gotta become very effective at communicating those. Uh, you need to communicate often you need to communicate in a very high integrity, honest way, very transparently. I'm a big believer that uh, it's always about the people around you. Uh, and in order for people to perform at a high level and sort of follow you through a brick wall, if that's what you're asking them to do, they have to trust you, right? Everything is based off of levels of trust. And I always found, for me, that those folks that trusted me the most and that I trusted the most performed at a higher level. Um, and, 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 and we were able to develop relationships not only at work but outside of work. So that relationship building capability is uh, extremely important from my perspective. So it sort of means you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta make sure you're doing things that fit your natural flow, that's part of your normal DNA. Um, you, you can't be somebody you're not, not for long, and not consistently. So high levels of self-awareness are critical, in my opinion, and understanding what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are and having honesty about those uh, is a, a, a very important thing because as the leader you're ultimately putting the team together, right? And great teams are formed when you as the leader understand what your weaknesses are and then you fill those gaps with the best people that you can find to fill those cap gaps and have the strengths that you don't have. That requires you to have a high level of awareness and it requires you to have a high level of, of confidence in who you are as the leader to do that. No fear kind of concept, right, is, is an important piece. 